Okay. Um, maybe catch a good mark, this one. If you can just... Uh, you say number eight in clap. <coughs> now, please. Yeah. Okay, sound and speed. Number eight. The act of performance is, is, is like, uh, it's like a meditation. You have to be so focused on, you know, on what you're doing and sort of totally lost in the now, in the moment. But I think in jazz especially, where the element of improvisation is so strong, um, I think it's important to, you know, whilst kind of losing yourself in the moment, you also kind of have to keep that sense of structure in your head at all times. Action. Uh, the tunes from Ivan's Dream have kind of grown and evolved and matured over the years uh, as, as I have matured as a, as a performer and, uh, and composer. Each one's been inspired by, by an event in my life, if you like. So each one tells a story, they're very visual uh, pieces of music. It's big on melodies, it's big on groove, there's a lot of detail there, it's quite intricate and and yet it's very it's very easy to listen to. I very much found my musical voice, my musical personality through learning how to play jazz and I suppose what I've become is a hybrid of a pianist, a composer and an improviser. Whereas when I was um, playing classical music, I was very much an interpreter. That said, I'm grateful for all the kind of early classical training because it's given me a solid technique, a solid technical background, and also there's a great pool of ideas in classical music that I regularly delve into and uh, that I'm very much influenced by when I play and compose jazz.